President of ECOWAS Commission, Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the outgoing speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament, Thank you very much for your stewardship and your commitment to our values and democratic journey. Members of the ECOWAS Parliament, Deputy Senate President of Nigerian Senate, Senator Baraji Green. Honorable Minister of FCT, our landlord, is in Wiki. Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chair of the ECOWAS Council of Ministers, members of Diplomatic Corps, esteemed members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor, as chairman of the ECOWAS Authority, head of states and government, to welcome you all today to Abuja, the federal capital of Nigeria, for the official inauguration of the sixth legislature of the ECOWAS Parliament. I sincerely say welcome. The ECOWAS Parliament is comprised of representatives from across the region and plays a crucial role in advancing the integration agenda of the West African region. Thus, it is crucially acknowledged your invaluable contribution we must salute the previous legislature towards deepening our regional integration. We say thank you to all of them. We have gathered here today, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great members of the parliament, to observe the provision of the supplementary act relating to the enhancement or the powers of the ECOWAS Parliament, which converse upon me as chairperson of ECOWAS Authority of Head of States and Government, the power to convene the first session of the sixth legislature. In doing so, I wish to reaffirm my unwavering commitment to the aspiration of our community and by extension the fundamental objectives upon which the ECOWAS Parliament was established. I've listened carefully to the speakers before me, and particularly the President of the ECOWAS Commission, enumerating the value of our togetherness and the danger of any integration. I appeal to you to really work hard on unity, cohesion, for opportunity and prosperity of the West African region. <laughs> Dear parliamentarians, our journey towards a future of peace and prosperity. We cannot succeed without the loyal contribution and hard work of our 
community's legislative agency. Furthermore, to realize the ECOWAS vision of 2050, we require greater involvement of the people in decision-making process of the community. Please bear that in mind. That can only be achieved through their duly elected representatives who be members of their national parliaments are seconded to the community parliament. We are here collectively to serve all the good and greater people of West Africa. Honorable members, as we inaugurate the sixth legislature, it is evident that we face profound challenges in our region that demand our unified effort. Recent political development have consequential effect on each of our member states. The wider international context in terms of security, access to markets, and climate change also present profound challenges. Three member states considering withdrawal from the community is a challenge to us. We must preserve the unity and integrity of our organization. The ball is in your court, as well as man. At this critical junction, regional solidarity is imperative to strengthening our resiliency and effectiveness as a bloc, particularly against forces that aim to divide us. We must not allow this. We cannot afford to remain passive and ordinary spectators while our community faces the threat of disintegration. We stand united against such forces and are committed to ensuring that our unity remains unshaken. We must ensure that cooperation among us is strengthened with a view to building a sense of common destiny and purpose. No one can do this for us. We are the one to do it. Please take that seriously. In your legislative considerations and in your various interactions, it is very imperative that you take seriously that we have to build the economic prosperity of our region by ourselves. Let's forget what has happened to us in the past. We are matured and of age to think and build our intellectual curiosity to develop our region. To this extent, reinforcing the legitimacy of decisions taken by authority of head of state is key in, in sending a message that ECOWAS is one body. It is also very important that the executives, on the other hand, must show similar confidence in parliament, respect the parliament resolutions which will indeed deepen democracy in our region. Meanwhile, in the midst of ongoing challenges, our partnership can be a driving force for stability, growth, and prosperity in our region. I'm aware that the ECOWAS Parliament is seeking enhanced powers, primarily through the election 
of its members by direct universal suffrage. This will, this will increase the role parliamentarians must play and the responsibility that they will assume. In advancing our regional development objectives, particularly in harmonizing laws and regulations across the member states, indeed, the practice of directly electing public officers aligns with the democratic principle of principles that Nigeria upholds. At its enhances the legitimacy of democratic institutions. This principle is so also in line with the spirit of ECOWAS protocol on democracy and good governance. As one time legislator myself, I, took, I look forward to reviewing the proposal regarding this matter. And we, we stand to support the elections into ECOWAS Parliament. We believe this will ensure that citizens have a direct say in their representation and the legitimacy and credibility it will pro provide. Thank you for thinking very carefully on this subject. I want to assure you that Nigeria is the host of this very important community institution. We continue to support you to achieve your objectives. I am aware of the plan to have all ECOWAS institutions in one complex and all the good progress that has been made. Nigeria is also working to meet its responsibility to construct the ECOWAS Parliament headquarters in Abuja at the same complex. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize that as you conduct the business of sixth legislature, it is my hope that your discussions will provide you the opportunity to address the prime concerns of the region and come up with resolutions that will lead to the attainment of peace and the advancement of all. You can stand assured that Nigeria is always ready to support their cause. The parliament in particular will be made effective and democracy will flourish if we support it and will fight for it. Whichever way you are engaged, do the best that you can. Like I've said earlier on, it is upon us. It is upon us. It is our responsibility to speak with one voice and make African Union from ECOWAS a central point of economic reform and foreign policy achievement. I take this special opportunity to congratulate all of you, honorable members, on your inauguration into ECOWAS Parliament. I wish you the best. Thank you very much.